Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a quick uh, overview of Anchor. So for those of you that don't know, Anchor is a podcasting software. It's been put on by Spotify. Um, and with Anchor, what you can do is you can have uh, students go in and create their own podcasts and ultimately publish them. So that way they're accessible um, elsewhere throughout you know, the school. Um, it can be shared with parents. It can be shared with the community or even on a global scale. Um, so once you come down, it's free to make an account. Um, if you have older students, they can make their own account. If you have younger students, um, they might need to log in under your account to do so. But once you get logged in, um, you can make a new episode. Um, and when you do that, you can either record straight into Anchor. You can upload a file from your library over here. Um, if students had recorded on their own devices and you just want to compile it together. Um, you can also put things like transitions. You can put background music. Um, and it's a really great tool. Really what this would support is I think it lends itself primarily to the humanities. Um, <clears throat> you know, with history, you can talk about uh, historical events or highlight historical, uh, important historical people. Um, with like reading, you could do book reviews or you could have students do alternate endings to books. Um, you know, with ELA, they can practice, um, you know, talking about uh, various standards or objectives in there. Um, for instance, I have had students, I'm going to go over to my episodes. I've had students do things for Black History Month. I've had students do things over the civil rights um, further down. Um, students did things like the Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Um, and what this does is it really gives students a chance, just like a research paper or like any other kind of presentation where students are doing the research and they're finding good sources and then they're compiling it together in a sort of script. Um, and then ultimately they're going to be um, recording that. And it's a nice alternative uh, to provide for students outside of just like having to get up in front of the class and present something or um, having to have them write a research paper. Um, they're doing the same skills and they're practicing the same um, learning objectives um, and they're meeting the same standards. Uh, but overall, uh, it's just kind of a different format. Um, and so I'm going to flip back over real quick to see if I can show you what it looks like. Um, so here you can see that it's got the uh, different 48 plays that I've had. Um, you can see like a list of like how often people have uh, listened to your podcasts, things like that. Um, going back to when you create a new episode, if you wanted to add something in from your uh, browser, you can add in a, um, a piece of audio um, and it'll ultimately pull it up over here. Um, and then once this is loaded, you're actually going to be able to click on to uh, these buttons and you're going to be able to edit the audio. So I'm just going to give it just a second so that way it pulls that up so I can kind of show what that looks like. And while we're waiting, um, one thing that Anchor does not really provide is a lot of accessibility features. Um, you know, it is in the sense that uh, you're giving students an opportunity to use something outside of just uh, purely writing or presentations, um, but it does not really offer many like accessibility features in the sense of, um, you know, being able to do it hands free or uh, voice commands or anything like that. Um, but going back over here, so you can click on the edit audio and it'll pull up your audio and it'll show you um, you're able to play some of it. And, um, you know, you can split pieces, you know, if you wanted to cut out this entire section, you could split that and cut out that section and now it'll cut that out. So it's kind of an all in one as far as a creation and editing tool. But uh, that's Anchor in a nutshell. And I'll see you guys when we talk next about quizzes.